Following a busy month of May, the 2017 Mazda Road to Indy presented by Cooper Tires now kicks things into high gear with four race weekends coming up in the span of just six weeks. As the series heads towards the summer, it's time to get you caught up on all the on-track action. The first time you do something is always memorable. Each year, the Cooper Tires USF 2000 Championship, powered by Mazda, welcomes in young men and women who are often competing in race cars for the very first time. Fresh from karting, these rookies take to the same tracks as IndyCar, ready to prove themselves. Last year's Rookie of the Year, Robert McGinnis proved himself by grabbing the Round 1 victory this season in St. Petersburg. McGinnis' time in the spotlight, however, was short-lived. Mazda Shootout Scholarship winner Oliver Askew drove for the second win of 2017 and he has not stopped since. Alabama saw Askew sweep the weekend from qualifying to racing. Askew was unstoppable. The Cape Motorsports broom didn't stay in the trailer for long as the brothers broke it out in Indianapolis where Askew once again swept the weekend. Behind Askew, Renus VK has been racking up podiums, finishing third or higher in four of the six races run so far this season. Heading into June, Askew controls the championship with 188 points. VK's impressive streak of podium finishes puts him 60 points behind Askew in second, while the youngest driver on the Mazda Road to Indy, Kalen Fredericks, sits third. Last year's runner-up in the championship, Parker Thompson, sits fourth in points after two podium finishes for exclusive Autosport, and Dakota Dickerson rounds out the top five. Heading into 2017, many worried and speculated as to what field sizes would look like this season in the Pro Mazda Championship presented by Cooper Tires with an abbreviated schedule. By the time team transporters unloaded in St. Pete, the speculation had stopped. Teams came from all over the country to field a full grid of 14 cars that have traveled well in the first two weekends of 2017. Piloting the sole red Mazda for Cape Motorsports, last year's USF 2000 champion Anthony Martin scored the first two wins of the year at St. Petersburg. Behind Martin in the first two rounds of the season was Yunkos racing ace Victor Franzoni. The Brazilian and his team cracked the code in Indianapolis where they dominated. Franzoni swept the weekend from qualifying through the pair of races. As the series heads to only its third weekend of racing this year, Franzoni currently leads the points battle by a mere six points ahead of Martin. TJ Fisher rounds out the top three after standing on the podium in every one of the four completed rounds so far. Carlos Kuna and Nikita Lestoshkin are fourth and fifth in the championship points. The top level on the Mazda Road to Indy presented by Cooper Tires is the Indy Lights Championship. And as the top level, the drivers in Indy Lights have not disappointed this season. Five different winners have emerged out of the first seven races of 2017. And even more impressive, four of those five race winners are rookies to the Indy Lights Championship. With round one going to the sole red Mazda of Wisconsinite, Aaron Tielitz, the field was shook up from the get-go. Things didn't get any calmer as Colton Herta became the next rookie to win as well as the youngest driver to ever win a Grand Prix in Indy Lights. Race number three on the season saw rookie number three stand on top of the podium when Nico Jamin stole the show in Alabama. Race number four of the season was a special one as it marked the milestone 400th race in Indy Lights history. The race also was special as we saw our first repeat winner of the year when Colton Herta drove away from the field holding Kyle Kaiser and Nico Jamin at bay winning the historical race. The month of May means Indianapolis. First up was the Mazda Road to Indy Grand Prix presented by Royal Purple supporting the Lupus Foundation of America. Miraculously, the rookies kept their streak alive thanks to Nico Jamin picking up round five. Behind Jamin in Indianapolis was Zachary Clayman earning his best finish to date with second place while Kyle Kaiser rallied to finish third. Round six would see Kyle Kaiser uncork flying lap times around the Grand Prix circuit as he cruised to the win ahead of Santiago Arrudia and Matias Leist. Following the racing on the road course came the biggest race on the schedule, the 15th annual Freedom 100. Taking place on Carb Day in front of nearly 100,000 spectators in town for the Indianapolis 500, everyone in attendance learned that anything can happen in a 100-mile race. After an early caution flag flew due to Andretti Autosport drivers making contact off turn two, 
The race saw plenty of side-by-side -side and adventurous moments. Aaron Tielitz picked off drivers ahead of him as he moved from sixth on the starting grid to second. With less than 10 laps to go, Tielitz challenged race leader Mateus Leis, but would just not have enough. The 18-year-old from Brazil held off the best of the best as he started on pole and drove to win the 15th annual Freedom 100. Heading into rounds 8 and 9 at Road America, Uncos Racing and Kyle Kaiser now lead the championship point battle ahead of Nico Jamin and two-time race winner Colton Herta. Tied for fourth in the overall championship in Indy Lights are Aaron Tielitz and Neil Albarico.